Senator, thank you for joining us. We go way back to the old days, the Texas uh, Solicitor General days, if I'm not mistaken. Senator, you're leading the charge to abolish the IRS. I think that's a fantastic idea. Tell us your plan. Well, look, we have seen in recent weeks that, that the IRS had, has not honored its trust with the American people, that the Obama administration has demonstrated a willingness to use the machinery of government to target their political enemies. I, I, and that's wrong. It was wrong when Richard Nixon did it, and it's wrong when Barack Obama did it. And, and it is a manifestation of too much power in the federal government. When the federal government has that much power in our individual lives, it's an invitation to being abused. And, and I think we ought to abolish the IRS and instead move to a simple flat tax where, where the average American can fill out our taxes on a postcard. Put down how much you earn, put down a deduction for charitable contributions for home mortgage and how much you owe. It ought to be just a simple one-page postcard and take the agents, the bureaucracy out of Washington and limit the power of government. I have a hunch you might get bipartisan support for, for an idea like that. Well, it seems to me we should because it's about empowering the people. And, and that ought to be a bipartisan value. That ought to be something Republicans and Democrats can both embrace empowering the citizenry instead of politicians in Washington. Senator, a lot of us are concerned uh, because the IRS has been entrusted by the Obama administration to administer Obamacare. Do you trust the IRS to handle something so important to every American? Not remotely. Look, the IRS is given key responsibility for administering Obamacare. It has over 47 taxes and penalties that the IRS is supposed to administer concerning our health care, concerning vital aspects of taking care of our health, of our family's health, of our loved one's health. Right now, the IRS is creating the largest database in the country to implement Obamacare. And the intrusion into our personal lives, I think, is unacceptable. And the pattern we've seen is it's not something we can trust will be administered in a fair way. It's not something we can trust won't be used in a partisan way, in a vindictive way, and that's completely unacceptable with our health care. Can you expand on that a little bit? I mean, if, if, if there was partisan targeting by the IRS in our financial matters, is it possible they might do that in our medical matters too? Well, we have seen a consistent pattern in this administration, and, and the pattern is a willingness to use the machinery of government to target those they perceive as their political enemies, and that, that was true with the IRS. It's true with the Department of Justice that, that, that has been targeting reporters, targeting Fox News, going after reporters that would dare be critical of this administration. And, and I think it is, you know, frankly, the hubris of power that, that the ends justify the means. And, and this administration has been willing to disregard the Constitution, disregard the Bill of Rights, the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Fourth and Fifth Amendments with drone policy to set aside the constraints of the law for partisan ends. And, and, and that, the result of it has been that people's trust in the integrity of government has been undermined. And, and it hadn't been helped by the fact that the administration has been willing to mislead the American people. It hasn't been candid. I think the president needs to tell the truth.